Chicken and Duck Story One day, Chicken invited Duck to his house for lunch. Chicken was very excited, having prepared a sumptuous meal with crispy bread, bright yellow corn and a plate of delicious barley. When Duck arrived, Chicken smiled and invited Duck to the table. But instead of placing the food on plates or bowls as usual, Chicken placed all the food on flat and smooth plates. Chicken, with its short and agile beak, easily pecked at each kernel of corn and piece of bread comfortably. Meanwhile, Duck, with its large and flat beak, could only pick up a few kernels, trying to eat but looking like he was playing with the pile of food. Duck tried his best, but in the end he was still hungry because he couldn't eat much. Chicken innocently asked, Hey, Duck, why are you eating so little? Is the food I cook not delicious? The duck forced a smile and said, No, I just don't like this way of eating. But next week, I'll invite you to my house for a delicious meal. The chicken happily accepted, because he thought that the chicken was smarter than the duck. That day, the chicken arrived at the duck's house, hungry and expecting a grand feast. But when he sat down to eat, the chicken was shocked to see that all the food was placed in a basin of water. The duck comfortably dove down, caught fish and enjoyed the wonderful meal, while the chicken could only stand and watch, annoyed because its short beak was of no help. Occasionally, the chicken tried to scoop up some water to peck at. But all it got was a few drops of water. The duck came up, smiled brightly and said, why didn't you eat much today? Maybe you don't like this way of eating like I don't like your flat plate. The chicken blushed in embarrassment and could only lower its head and sigh. Lesson. How you treat others reflects back on you. If you treat others poorly, be prepared for the same to happen to you. Be fair and respectful to each other, because you reap what you sow. The story of the bride and the wife. One day, at a meeting of the wives in the village, the sisters began to discuss the election of wife of the year. While the other women were all outstanding in their achievements and talents, there was a girl named Han, who was not outstanding in appearance or talent, only taking care of her family and daily work. But Han had a confident style and incredible intelligence. When it was her turn to speak, Han stood up and said, if I am chosen as wife of the year, I will make all of you sitting here proud of your married life. Imagine, you will be able to tell your husband, my wife was once wife of the year, and be proud of that. That statement made everyone laugh and think. Han was not only talking about herself, but also reminded him of the support and pride they would feel when they were associated with her. As a result, Han received a lot of votes, and became the wife of the year to everyone's surprise lesson to convince others to support you you don't need to show that you are better than them the important thing is to help them feel that thanks to you they are better and more successful when you radiate confidence and motivate others you will attract their support and love the story of the fox and the grapes one sunny day while walking in the woods the fox discovered a bunch of juicy grapes hanging from a high branch. Looking at the bunch of grapes, the fox's mouth watered. He thought, oh, this bunch of grapes will surely be a wonderful delicacy, both to quench my thirst and to taste. The fox was determined to pick the bunch of grapes. He took a few steps back, gained momentum and jumped, but could only reach the grape leaves. Undaunted, he took another step back and jumped again, but the result was the same. Despite trying one way after another, the bunch of grapes remained firmly high up, out of the fox's reach. Finally, after many failed attempts, the fox gave up. He turned his nose up in the air and said arrogantly, Well, actually this bunch of grapes must be sour. It's not worth it. Having said that, the fox turned away, trying to lie to himself so as not to feel regretful. On the way back, the fox met a rabbit. The rabbit saw the fox's face and asked, 
Why do you look so sad? The fox then told him about the grapes and his efforts. The rabbit smiled and said, Actually, if you can't reach it, why don't you try another way or ask someone for help? Sometimes all it takes is a little patience and creativity to achieve what you want. The fox suddenly realized that he had been too quick to give up and had underestimated the value of what he couldn't have. Lesson, it's easy to look down on what you can't achieve. Many people, when they can't have something, say it's not worth it, but in reality, they just haven't found a way to achieve it. Sometimes, patience and effort are the keys to opening up opportunities that you thought were out of reach. The story of a father and son and an expensive coat. One afternoon, a father and son were walking in the park when they saw a well-dressed man wearing an expensive designer coat. The son, with a sarcastic look on his face, pointed at the man and said, Dad, look at that. People like that definitely only know how to spend money and don't know how to work and sweat. The father smiled and replied, Son, maybe people like that are working harder than us, they just choose a different way of expressing themselves. Dot. The son didn't understand much, but his father brought him closer to listen to the man's story. Surprisingly, they learned that this man was a successful fashion designer who had worked very hard to achieve his current position. The coat the man was wearing was not only a symbol of success but also the result of many years of hard work and creativity. As he left the park, the son no longer felt contempt for the man. He had realized that appearances do not reflect a person's true nature. The father paused and said, See, sometimes, what we see is just the tip of the iceberg. Never judge a person by their appearance. The son nodded, understanding the valuable lesson his father had imparted. He decided from now on to look at people in a more positive light, not to rush to judgment. Lesson. Your opinion of someone reflects your true attitude inside. Don't judge others by their appearance or what they show, but try to understand and sympathize with what they have been through. Everyone has their own story, and that is what matters. The story of two soccer teams and the Golden Cup. In a major soccer tournament, two teams, the blue team and the red team, were selected for the final match. It was raining continuously, making the field muddy and slippery. The blue team's tour guide, a rather pessimistic person, kept criticizing the bad weather. He muttered, Oh my god, how unlucky. It's raining so hard in the final. Someone will definitely get hurt and we will lose. Meanwhile, the red team's coach kept a positive attitude. He encouraged his players. Rain is part of the game. Let's see this as an opportunity to show off our skills on a difficult field. Let's make some great plays together. When the match started, the blue team was tired and frustrated because they kept slipping on the muddy field. They couldn't keep their spirits up and lost their motivation. Meanwhile, the red team, thanks to their optimism, quickly adapted to the difficult conditions. They used low shots and smart dribbling techniques to score goals. As a result, the red team won convincingly. When receiving the gold trophy, the red team's coach said, The weather does not determine victory, but our attitude and spirit. Lesson, no matter how difficult the situation, positive thinking will help you find solutions and overcome challenges. You can choose how to look at problems, instead of criticizing and getting discouraged, look for opportunities to grow and learn. How you face difficulties will determine your success. Thanks for listening. Hello and see you again in Small Stories of Life Part 31.